Hey guys, Woods Farm here. Just out uh, working on the tractor today. Bit of an update. Uh, I've got a couple videos out there that shows work I did on it in the summer. Uh, basically, I had to uh, pull the oil pan and the head and uh, put new O-rings on the sleeves. Um, and then I rebuilt, rebuilt it after that and it's been running. I've used it maybe 20 or 30 hours, not a lot. Um, just kind of been babying it. It's a little finicky after I rebuilt it. It just, it doesn't want to start when it's really cold. You got to hit it with a quick start. Um, that just could be the carburetor or maybe it's just showing its age, but it is running. Um, so what I'm going to do today is uh, when I put the head back on it with the new head gasket, uh, I torque down the head bolts. Well, apparently after 20 hours, you have to recheck those and make sure they're back down and torqued. And then when you do that, you have to reset the uh, valve lash. Um, so that's what I'm up to today. I guess it's about time just to check that. The trickiest thing about this job is that I have two manuals and they both sort of contradict each other. They also cover multiple tractors. So uh, this this shop manual, it's more detailed. Um, and I tend to uh, trust this one more, but it has multiple tractor models and engine types and you have to really decide, it's really hard to decipher, you know, what exact procedure you're supposed to be using. This manual does have a simpler method where you make adjustments with number one cylinder at top dead center and number four at top dead center. Um, this has a slightly different procedure where you go by which valves are open and then you adjust a corresponding valve. Um, the uh, head bolts need to be at 75 to 80. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, deal with the head bolts and then apparently you should set the valves with the engine hot. So I'm going to uh, torque, retorque the head bolts and then I'm going to let the engine warm up and then I'm going to check and uh, reset the valves. So first thing that has to do happen is the valve cover has to come off. There's these little clips that hold all this wiring, which is sort of a pain in the ass. This is a crappy homemade seal that I made and it's definitely not working because it's leaking oil kind of towards the back. I'm going to have to buy another one. Okay, so now that the uh, valve cover is off, you can see the different head bolts. Some of them are exposed on the other side by the exhaust manifold, but uh, so there's a real specific order that you need to uh, tighten these down in. So I'm just going to get set up for that. Just check the manual and see what order I need to go in. That shows you the basic order. Already got my torque wrench set to 80 from last time I used it. Good. Good. Four. 
Some of these are tricky to get to in the sense that you don't have enough leverage. So far, none of them are loose. Okay, so that's it. You just go around and um, this diagram wasn't exactly <laughs> the same. I'd probably have to look in the other manual, but you more or less you kind of start in the center and work your way out, kind of alternating sides. Um, none of them appeared to be loose, so that's good. Um, so now I'm just going to warm up the engine and uh, move on to uh, working on the valves. Just checking those. So I'll be honest, every time I do this, I do anything with the ignition or where the timing comes into play, I always have to like triple check everything and figure it out. Figure out which cylinder is number one. Is this number one or is this number one? It's always a pain in the ass. Eventually, I'm just gonna, gonna know, but uh, this is the number four cylinder. So the front of the engine, one, two, three, four. To make the adjustments, um, I have to have number one piston at top dead center um, and number four. So the way I spun over the engine a couple times and I've got number four um, at top dead center. And the, re the way I know that is because I actually, on this engine, if you pull out the spark plug, you can see the top of the cylinder, um, sorry, the top of the piston. You can see it come up and then you can see it go down. And uh, that's and I have the um, on the distributor, the rotor is pointing to the number wire that goes to the number four. So I'm going to start with number four, um, and then when I get those five adjusted or six, however many I have to adjust, four, um, then I'll work on getting the engine uh, spun over and into the position for number one cylinder. Okay, so this one's a little loose. Actually, it doesn't seem bad. Okay, so what you need to do is there's a jam nut that's got to get loosened off, and then there's like a set screw, and that adjusts how much clearance you have in between the rocker arm and the top of the valve. So these, according to the manual, these are supposed to be at 20 thou. So I'm just putting a feeler gauge in between and you want it to have kind of a bit of drag. So that's pretty close.
the tricky part is getting the bolt, the uh, the jam nut, tight without changing the position too much. See, it's kind of loosened off a bit there. I'm sure if you did this, if you were a mechanic and you did this all the time, you'd probably be pretty good at it. Me, I have to tinker with it. Keep working at it until you get it where it needs to be. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I always go back and check everything. too tight now compared to the other ones. Just tricky, tricky. Okay, so now I gotta get uh, number one cylinder on top dead center and I can adjust the other four. So the tack on the tractor has not worked since I bought it. Um, it's a problem with the uh, drive unit that uh, where the cable connects into the distributor. It's all messed up. You can't get the part. So I've been meaning to pick up one of these and uh, just not that it's going to be super accurate but just to get, have a baseline you know and know what's going on. Um, you know, so I, it, I'm not just going by ear when it comes to revving up the engine. So it was super easy to install. You basically, there's a white wire. You can see that there. I just grounded it out behind the uh, voltage regulator. And there's a red wire, which you just coil around one of the uh, spark plug wires. And uh, that's it. So I just tried it out, works pretty good. So now I'm just going to get the uh, valve cover back on. I just ran the engine for a couple minutes, sounds good. So put the valve cover back on, we'll finish this up. So once everything's adjusted, the valve cover goes back on. Just be careful with the gasket, if you can reuse it. That's the best thing. 